Ario. Yeah. Is that with yeah, the cream in the middle? I know what Ario's is. Like, what you mean? I, 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 what you talking I about? was just saying. Yeah. I tried to get a tan. I could be a rapper. Oh. What's this one called? You. What? You. You. This was recorded what last night, huh? Mm-hmm. Me and Jonathan Doge. I gotta sit up. Shout out to John end. Doe, OG Blake Owens. Uh, yeah. Extra loud today. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Like it's, still, for sure. it's still on my little rotation. He probably feel like that's a poo song now because really? it's so old. Yeah. Nah, I definitely don't feel like it's a poo song. I feel it's like it's song. it's timeless. Yeah, for sure. All the songs I got that sound timeless, they not they definitely not poo to me. And so would you say that uh, you put your life in your music, the things you're going through, you know what I'm saying, at that time to make the songs you make? Or, 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 or what do you put in your music to make it uh, genuine? Man, listen, I'm a bad liar. Yeah. It's a lot of people be like, you be too honest in your songs. I'm like, right. well, if I die tomorrow, this is this is how my life went. Yeah. I, I left it here for you. Go check it out. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? You need more of that these days. Absolutely. Absolutely. For sure, for sure, for sure. So you do you be doing any type of like performances? You know what I'm saying? Like how lucrative is is the rap business, you know what I'm saying? Just well, see, as a fan. Like Well for the last two years. You know, I done had some issues, ups and downs, and woo woo like that. So real life shit. I've been real, real life, life shit. So I've been songwriting instead of being on the front line. I've been on the back line, songwriting, boom, mother cheese like that. You know what I'm saying? I work yeah. with a dude in Atlanta, and he just be sending me all kind of songwriting opportunities. That's why you stand there. You in Atlanta right now, right? Yeah. All right. So that's a good spot for music opportunity for sure. I know you've been in the studio out there. Right. People yeah. always underestimate like being the what they call it, ghost writing. And right. stuff for people. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. wish there was a way the people that actually write the music could I get guess that credit. go with your name, huh? Famous Stranger. You know, but at the end of the day, some people would rather be a writer. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know than why? be in the front. You know what I'm saying? In front Being of a camera. ghost writer? That's the permanent vacation type shit. Right. Mm -hmm. I ain't got to be on the road doing shows, be on the front and all that. Man, let me write this song for you and give me my check. Man. So is that yeah. an avenue you you would feel like you you could take? Yeah, that'll be the, that'll be the plan B to the question you asked. If this don't work, back up. That'll, that'll, yeah, shit. I think I, I'm gonna start yeah. doing it because I obviously can't rap the stuff that I write because of my reputation of but being you feel like the New Orleans cold. sweetheart. But if I did, like, I start rapping like Meg the Stallion. Who I can't gave go, you that reputation? I can't walk in Hold church. On, I can write you a whole... New Orleans I sweetheart. Whole, I can write you a whole album right now called New Orleans sweetheart. Yeah. Where, but where that come see, from? when you I know write it, it'd be like Meg the Stallion... All that stuff. No, you don't. I can't do that. Have my daddy listening to my music. You don't have to. <laughs> who called? Who started calling you New Orleans sweetheart? I missed that. Uh, really? Yeah. It came. It was a long time ago. I oh, mean, nobody called you. Nobody. I am period. though. You know, I thought <laughs> feel like you made that up. You everybody's I grandma. I did a while ago. You New Orleans grandma. To it. Like Not that. grandma. You know, she'll watch your kids. You hear me? No, oh. sweetheart. But no, seriously. Used to be when throwing I the coldest parties with the coldest females at the party. You know, yeah. but I think I gotta give that life up. I'm getting old, you know. It's never too getting old for older. a party. But that's what I'm saying. The ghostwriters, I could be ghostwriting for Megan. Y'all don't even know it. Yeah. That's just how I think, though. I can't. I can't live that life. I gotta protect my my image. Well, you know. I feel like I could live it. You, hear me? you can live it. Yeah. The let's rap get, let's, let's get deep into into fame, though. Like, what's that world? Like, even the coming up with the the name. Like, it's something about you that felt like this is who I am. Whether you know, what I'm saying it's to myself or to the audience. You know, what I'm saying this what I, this is the name that I'm gonna come out as. So it'll always be relevant. Well, how I got my name. My name, when I first started rapping, my name was SK. I was just bored. I said, I need a name. I don't know what the fuck it meant. Yeah. <laughs> Another guy that had an SK laying on the side of the bed or something. I don't know what it, you know what I'm saying? But since I was younger, it's like every time I walked in somewhere, people would look at me and I'm like, what they looking at? They're making me feel famous. But I'm just a stranger. So I guess I'm a famous stranger. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's where that came from, for right. sure. Yeah, cool yeah. shit. Yeah, cool so shit. you said through the last two years you've been going through some shit. You, yeah, yeah. you feel like touching on that, what you've been going through, like, you know? Shit, nigga. Relationship problems, rehab, yeah. jail, all right. kind of shit, nigga. But you like know, only shit. the strong survive. For mm -hmm. sure. That's you why ever, I'm sitting right here with y'all right now. You ever thought about therapy? And I did all that shit. Yeah. I didn't do all that shit. But my best therapy... It's the music. It's on that microphone. I, I forget about everything. Yeah. Close my eyes and go. So, so what I really want to ask you though, dude, like, like I know a lot of, of course, the the whole opioid crisis and all that type of shit. Do that allow? I feel like that helped motherfuckers make music this day and age. The you opiate know what I'm shit. Yeah. I never was fucking with the opiate shit. I mean, right. like back in the day. Right. But you know, like the last three years, I wasn't. I wasn't. I ain't no pill man. So what was your uh, Jones. Right. Yeah, I was on. I was on the soda. Yeah. I was on. I was drinking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I was just really depressed. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it's funny. Some of the songs 
that people like the most is when I was at my lowest time of my life. Right. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't got no pain, you know, pain, no future. Well, that's what yeah. music connects everybody. The good times, bad yeah. times, all yeah, that. So sure. did the rehab work, though? Like, going through all of that and being through all, like, what did it do for it you? Worked, it worked for a moment. But I just wrote something. I just wrote a song, and it start. I said, uh, "You really think thirty days will change me after thirty years?" Right, right. I've been going through this shit for a long time. Right. Me going to rehab for thirty days or a month. For, man, you, that shit was like it's just a detox, pretty it was, much. It was, yeah, but it kind of made me love me again. You because I was just worried about everybody point. else. I, you know, I ain't, I wasn't able to have my phone and shit. I just was able to focus on me. Right. And I was like, damn, nigga, you tripping. You forgetting. You the shit. Yeah. Did you write music in Rio? Um, I think I wrote a song or two in that bitch. So you was able, because I know it had to be you just mentally. You might have, you know what I'm saying? You know, I could have wrote a hundred of them bitches, but I wasn't focused on that. Right. I wasn't focused on music. I was focused on getting my mind together so I could come out and just be normal again. Because I felt myself wigging out. Mm. Right, you know what I'm saying? Like, Shit, yeah. But the, you know, but the the coldest artists be the craziest people. I was about sure. to say that that's really relevant right now with all the new age rappers and like. Yeah, I mean, I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about how real. you feel about that though, like the the ODN and all that other stuff, and then blaming it on the music. I mean, these young these young dudes, they feel like they need that to make music. Mm -hmm. But you you don't feel like they was influenced? Like, were you influenced? That some subliminally just thinking about it? Were you influenced about it? You know what I'm saying? To it? I mean, you know, I started off smoking weed. Right. You smoke weed, everybody want to rap. Everybody in here start freestyling. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. But, you know, I was influenced by that. But then, you know, when I was younger, I went through some shit and I started popping ecstasy. Right. And ecstasy make your brain think fast, fast, fast. I was writing songs in 10 minutes. Right. You know what I'm saying? Walking up in the nigga studio. I want a feature. I right, play the song. Five hundred dollars just to go in there and freestyle. Right. Give me my money. I'm out. It's just it used to make me you think. Because you was on ecstasy though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's almost, is ecstasy similar to an Adderall? You think? Or what? Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Just the Adderall comes from the white people. Right. You know what I'm like, saying? Never thought about it like Some that. Some jazz type of drug. I actually have never tried that. Be. Like I'll be the person. in the morning looking at <laughs> yeah. nah. the jazz with the I'll be the person. No, because I'll be the person that fucking overdosed on Adderall. Be laying <laughs> in my dorm room. <laughs> nope. Yeah, see, the Adderall just. Spooking. The, the Adderall ain't nothing. People done spooked out. Nope. Adderall from the white folks. Shit, jazz. You know what I'm saying? So, what's your advice? What's, so, what's your just overall advice to the, the younger rappers? Like, even though you're still in the rap game. Just going through it, you, you know your struggles, you know the struggles of the rap game, just how you, what's your advice? My advice gonna be some tough love shit hmm. on some, just go through it. Don't try to escape it, just go through it. Cause that's where motherfuckers be dying and shit. Trying to escape it. Just go through it. How about that? What you said on the last song you did, uh, I told a young nigga don't, uh, how it go? I know what you talked last night. He was like, "Oh, he told me he can't." What did I say? He told me he can't take no more. I told that young nigga, "Keep trying, keep trying, you yeah. give up, my nigga." Yeah, right, real yeah. shit, yeah. yeah it, and, and it was funny. Do you yeah. feel like you be talking to yourself sometimes in the music, nigga? All the time. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Shit, yeah. I wrote a song where I'm burying my old self. Right. You know what I'm saying? New you, a new shell, a new beginning, huh? See, I cut my hair. Yeah, you cut your hair, know, yeah. Right? You know what so saying? what is sure. it? It's like a shortcut? Because you had the braids. Your braids is down your back. It's the curls. It's like a, they yeah. say take when the hat off, yeah. The, the uh, women, when we cut our hair, it's because we born again. Born again. So you. Yeah, I had a lot of bad. I had, sure. I had long hair since I was 15 years old. It's a whole, it was a whole bunch of bad shit in my hair. What you mean, bash vibes, everything, everything. everything. Yeah, everything you so just. So who said. you feel like inspired you as an artist coming up? You know what I'm saying? What artist could you give credit to? You know what I'm saying? You know we got Lil Wayne, big for the city. But yeah, I got a top. I could give you a, a top five real quick. Man, that was you asking. Yeah. Andre 3000, Fire, mm -hmm. Weezy, Weezy, Eminem, M, Styles P, The Ghost. That's four. I know. Didn't Eminem just drop a new song or something? He just dropped. Who the, the whole fifth album. one is? I don't know. Michael Jackson or something? Mm, I can definitely say Rick James. Uh, oh. um, I don't <laughs> know, bro. I don't, uh, fame. 
Yeah. You? Yeah. Yourself. That's, num- that's <laughs> number five. Yourself. That's number five, yeah. Cool shit. <laughs> All right, artists. That was, that was, was that artists or albums? Artists, that was artists. Let's do albums. Favorite albums. Favorite albums? Shit. Songs by Jane? Oh, Maroon 5. Good one. I like Maroon 5. Um, The Love Below. I'm no cast. Eminem LP. Goddamn, uh, the oh, Carter when he said, Let me show you upstairs. Got the glass. The Carter I'll one. Throw that <laughs> him up there. If you yeah. could work with, if you could work with anybody, his song. One person, one chance. One person? One try. Mm-hmm. Guaranteed hit. Right now. She said, Guaranteed hit. You need some music in the background, like some Jeopardy music. Or something. <laughs> yeah, that's a tough question. Ain't it? Who would you work with? One artist. If I just became a rapper, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I need that. Uh, I need that whole feature, straight up. I feel like I'm coming. I, I need the, the the best. Trey, I don't know. It's a tough question. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of artists you could think about, but I'd be like, who would give me the most of their time? I want to just to walk in there and drop a track and no, like, I'm gone. No, but it's a guaranteed yeah. hit. You just get the guaranteed first. hit. I don't know. It's a good question, bro. Fuck. Guaranteed hit. I might take. Cardi B or Bruno Mars. Guaranteed. Like, Drizzy. Drizzy. You know what I'm saying? Give me Drizzy. Give me Drake. Yeah, give me Drake. 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 Even if Drake come guaranteed. around here. Guaranteed hit. I want to be in the studio with somebody. Cole, Nicki Minaj, Rihanna, or something. It don't matter who it is. If it's a guaranteed hit, put me in the studio with Rihanna. You think? Fuck it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like a Drake. Uh, J-Lo. You know what I'm J-Lo, get like on the that. track. This bitch go about to blow. Because even if, even if Drake come around here playing around, it's still going to be cold. Yeah. Because he just so, his, his mind so leveled. Yeah, he locked in. That's why he know how to talk like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That <laughs> yeah, nigga know how to talk. Shoot, yeah. Like, That's he always calm, man. Huh? He just know what the right things to say and how to say it. Y'all are, just saying that because he... articulates well. Nah, yeah. they just say that because he light-skinned. And they like, they hold down. He the most skin. winning and red nigga out here. What, what color this you is, in? This is light not normal. Is I usually... Do you see that forehead? <laughs> all light-skinned girls got that forehead from New Orleans. Well, and they all cold. That's a culture. They not all, all of cold, them. most of them. You most cold. Though. I thought you were about to say something else. What? <laughs> you know what she said about big forehead. Like, she red, she got a big forehead, and she poo. Hold on. That's not normal, yeah. I mean, she cold. They they out here though. Wheel it back in, Jeff. Huh? Wheel it back in. Wheel it back in. <laughs> I'm just saying, like you know, you should. You know, we the no ramble type king. Because they already said the light skin niggas taking over. They, yeah, they taking uh-huh. over. That's never happened. Troy looking at me like they never left. That's just. I've been left. I don't try to make it no beef. I've been left. I yeah. ain't even here right now. It's cold. <laughs> we love all the we, we love all the shades. Yeah, fame land, huh? <laughs> Mm-mm. I had I had tear that tore that place down. Yeah. You know okay. that was the young me. So look, man, what's what's um your favorite uh picks like out of all your shit? Um, that's like good question. Dude. Chinese arithmetic. Yo. I like all my shit. Yeah. Cause everything come from the heart. I can't really. I can't put no nothing on that. Nigga, I got 600 songs. Have you ever made a song and was like, nah, let me let me start over, let me start from scratch? Um, I would say yes, but I still kept the lyrics and made it work on something mm-hmm. different. So how you how are you with criticism? Are you able to take criticism? Oh, absolutely. I love it. Because is it from is it from is it from close people or is it from the internet? Anybody. Because if you got everybody telling you you good, you might be poo. And you mm-hmm. thinking that you good because everybody's saying, yeah, you cold. The criticism coming like, okay, maybe I need, I need to work on that. Maybe I need to work on this. But at the same time, I never was told I was poo. So I'm cold. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Period. Period. That's a good mindset to have. That makes sense. It's not even a mindset. Internet. It's like a, a real thing. You got to, cause people on the internet that tell you down, make you frown. But what I I just be wanting to know, like, just exactly what people are trying to get out of this. You know what I'm saying? Like, is it just get out of what? Is it out of what you're doing? Is it for wealth, or is it for just just to be able to absorb your? You know what I'm saying? Like, just get your talent out there. Is well, it for you for the the, the most part? Like, well, I'm is, doing it because. Are you trying to create generational wealth through the music uh, business? Yeah, of that's course. what I'm. That's of what I'm asking. Of course. But I'm also doing it because I know that 
this can actually happen because I'm nice. And besides me being nice and marketable and everything, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? He's been telling me that for years. Yeah. So what's the work, though? Like, I'm just trying to get a little behind the scenes on just how it, you know what I'm saying? Like, how you, how you, how's it, how you, how you get to that point. Shit. Just with the, with the steps that you feel like you got to take. You just can't stop and you got to just, you got to find people that, that believe in your dream because you can't do this shit by yourself. This business is tough. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you need to Scott Pippen. But we didn't I see could be Michael Jordan, but I need to Scott Pippen. We didn't see some motherfuckers, though, that didn't put in the work, like, that, that didn't done it themselves. Like, ain't no, they, been, they was out here looking for somebody to put them on, but they just right. had to do right. it themselves. But at the same time, they had some type of, yeah, they just was never by themselves. But they had bread. That's, that's what they, yeah, oh, was. That's what, that's they what was they, hustlers. That's they what had I'm bread. Saying. Yeah. But I'm talking about looking at people that ain't had bread. Like, J. Cole, they ain't had no bread. He was in college. But he was pulling up on niggas at... He pulled up on... Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, for sure. Waiting in the rain, trying to get... But he was a whole CD. college nigga. You know what I'm saying? You got to right. think. He, That's he what I'm saying. college. And see, he producer, slash rapper. Right. And these days, the game is changing, man. Like, you signing with people is really not the way to go right now. Because mm -hmm. you can make all your cheese. Right. But if you don't have a plan or a team, and a plan and a team, is you just, you just, you just making music and for nothing. Got to have a plan and a team. And yes, I sir. feel like the public doesn't even, I'm not going to say they don't respect people who are really talented and like the good artists, but it's like, nah, you could be a good artist, but if you're not on social media shaking your ass, you're not entertaining. True. Right. And I feel like it, the same go with the rap game. If you're not on social media or you don't have a couple of videos yeah, where you, you got gotta, some views, yeah, you got to right. be relevant. And yeah. that sucks. Yeah. And you got to constantly be on social media. You have Beyonce, because... They don't. She doesn't show her personal life. This yeah. everybody don't want to be a Kardashian. Man, be, be snap. Right. Yeah, she right. blew up already. Yeah, she, she that's yeah. what I'm saying. She, she doesn't have to do that. She's and a superstar. This this age that's coming up, people don't respect having your private life private. They want they want to see everything. All right. Right. Yeah, I mean, man. once you, once you, that's what comes with that industry, though. Yeah. Like people want to see you. People want to see you every day. Like you mm -hmm. don't even got to be nice for real these days. And yeah. that's why I be you know feeling like it's kind of hard. It's shock value. Mm -hmm. Nigga dressing up right. in a diaper. Dude came on the video in the diaper, the baby. Mm -hmm. You think niggas not going to, damn, they got it. What, are they talking about you bad or good? They talking about you. Yeah. Well, Blueface, that's one person that I don't understand how he people pooped. even Son, listen to Blueface, If Blueface could make it, Trey could make it. I'm like. I could make it. <laughs> I could be cool. <laughs> Trey said he already going to take Trey your shit and make feel it. Like yeah, he can make it. all his like, old shit and like, come out. Yeah. It's like watching somebody dance off beat. Like, I just can't look. Yeah. With him, I just can't. I can't get jiggy. And that's why I feel I like it's can't. so hard to judge. Yeah. Because it ain't about good music. Right. It's about your it's work It's about ethic. something else. Yeah. But even he said that himself. So he must know he, you know, not the best. You can make game. all the songs in the world. You got to get on that Instagram. Some of us. You got to be marketing yourself. You know when dudes start to be DMing. People, when Blueface popped people. off, that boy had two songs he ever made in his life. Yeah. What was the song that got him popular? Bust Not Down, Diana. That Diana. And yeah. that shit's stupid. And this nigga, what he do? Pull on his pants and shit? He yeah. crazy, man. My kids cannot do that at school. We're not, we not playing that. Y'all not busting down nothing. None of that shit. <laughs> bust bust down his math shit. book, okay? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad you came. Sweetheart Jazz. It's good it's to see y'all, man. It's good to see y'all. It's I always know. good to see family. He didn't even yeah, recognize yeah, me man. when he came in here. You missed it. He did. He just oh. do no, shit. No, definitely didn't. I did. thought she grown, son. I didn't. I didn't yeah. Ain't see her in a long time. Not the baby anymore. We going baby on baby. But oh, yeah, man. Real quick, stop. Stop. I'm about to say because I need to smoke. Yeah, yeah, sure. I about to say thank you for coming out. Yeah. I think the, meatball the, sandwiches are very. You talking weird. about the, the uh, you talking about the sandwich four, that be booming at Subway? Two, boom, back. Every sandwich booms at Subway. But we just really want to thank you, famous stranger, for coming to In Opinions. Thank y'all. You know you family. Word, Whenever word. you want to come back, come back. You know oh, yeah, you but before back. you go, you got to let the people hear something, man. You know, you got to drop something for them, a little freestyle or something, you know what I'm saying? You can pick a beat or something if you're willing to do that. Uh-oh. All right, well don't, well, don't panic. On the spot. Because when I sense. leave, I'm going to make me a sandwich. Make a sandwich. <laughs> All right, so that's a yeah, I guess, huh? <laughs> let me yeah. see if I can find me a little beat or something right quick for you. <laughs> <laughs> but let the people know where I'm looking, where they can find your music at, you know what I'm saying? iTunes. Uh, that piff and a Fame couple stranger. other platforms coming down because um, I just dropped, you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying Homie to get got it all a catalog, together. Man. Yeah, I got a Fuck catalog, me. man. I got, man, I've been. YouTube, iTunes. I've been doing this shit before they picked the pin up, nigga. Hmm. Yeah. 
All right, so I think I got me a little J. Cole slash Styles P. Eminem Andre 3000 Wayne beat. Yeah, you yeah. just went off. Whole lot of people. I just tried to pick <laughs> the artist. And all these yeah. niggas ain't producers. Let me see. All right, here we go. <laughs> right. In opinions, you dig? <laughs> Let me see. I can hear it, but I can't. Take one of your ears out. <laughs> it's like all the way up right now. All right. Yeah, I can hear it. That's fine. Yeah, they. If I was me, uh, I played the game and I ain't give a token. And I look better when the mirror broken. Uh, my face ashy cause my tears faded. And karma coming back around buku years later. Yeah, and I ain't called though I had the number. I'ma just let it be and sit back and wonder. They spinning bands on they shit, but they ain't got the swag. I got lines on the plate, fuck the secrets out the bag. Yeah, bag full of nugs, and all she do is nag. I been gang, gang, gang without a flag. I'ma take my shot, hand me another mag. And when you finish on top, use your mouth, not the rag. Uh, it was all a dream, so I stopped sipping. But I ain't do it by myself, I had a Scott Pippen. Huh, even made a change, I even stopped pimping. But it's in my blood, cause I can't stop limping. I was stuck in my lowest, I wasn't born in no penthouse. The spoons was plastic, had to go hide, then attack it. Then we packed it and rolled, tried to be quiet, but this had to be told. Couple plays in the city, then I went traffic her soul. I used to have goals, but now it's just gold teeth. We was raised by them bells, it was no bell ding. Cool sweats when I ain't got it, so it's always round me. Roaring uncut like baloney in the county. I'm taking shit tough. I don't even want to be round me. These hoes trying to play rock like Tony Montana. I'm binge drinking on the porch. Revenge over remorse. Check it. I'm going to hit your phone soon as I walk out of court. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Right. Whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. Hold on. Don't stop me now. Yeah. All right. You already done started me. You got more? You got more? Come on, man. Uh-oh. I hope you know your friends are key, you nigga. And love is lust. Yeah, murder and money. Fuck it. Serve the tummy. See, these rules gon' bend. And all these drugs just a trend. Heroes be Tony and Mitch. But they can't save you from Satan. The money do magic. Pay enough and shit disappear. Side hoes be talking shit till they get whipped by your bitch. Lessons ain't never learned. Jail calls and withdrawals. But I'm stressed out today, so I'ma stop at the mall. Funerals every year. I'm numb from that in the clean. Blue hundred hundreds and pussy Over that we some fiends, yeah Draco's in designer, parking lacks in apartments Zach's fifth and press your bitch They know your name when you walk in You don't even know she lying And I just met her today Water thicker than blood Family be lying every day Niggas stuck in they ways But pain gon' make you see Talking all that shit, I'm probably talking about me See where I'm from is buku drama and ammo Red flags and camo Zips in a fanner, and your mama, your grandma. Best friend when you broke, your enemy when you eating. Only dream when you up, it ain't no good if you sleeping. You say you solid, but that same nigga telling. I'ma chill with a yellow, these niggas way too jealous. You can see it when it's rich, you can feel it when it's wealth. Niggas giving advice, ain't telling shit to they self. Bitch, I ain't trying to talk, come on, put me to sleep. Red bones and narcotics gonna help me get through this week. See, I ain't lying, and you see me like shit. Cheap. The sermon came from a snake, so they believing in me. Check it, I'm shopping hoes out the Ritz. So my crackers is customers, life be upside down. Like I'm back eating hucklebugs. But I still make it look like ain't nothing wrong. Why you motherfuckers stuck in your comfort zone, nigga? Shit, shit. Uh oh. Cold shit. Uh oh. Jazz feel like she. Jazz feel like she can do that. What? She feel like she can rap. Jazz feel like she can rap. I got one more. I got one more. Hold on. I'm gonna go after you. I wish I could pop, but these pills faker than the last thing you told me. I don't even want sip no more. But let a nigga hit that on the low. And if I trust you and you need it, yeah, I'm on the way. Bet that even on the burner phone, I'm watching what I say. I got bones to break and bills to pay. Oh, cold shit. That's cool. What is it? Got all the smoke. That's another one? That's another one. Here we go. Uh. Wish I could pop of these pills faker than the last thing you told me. I don't even want sip no more, but let a nigga hear that tone at all. 
And if I trust you when you need it, yeah, I'm on the way. Bet that even on the burner phone, I'm watching what I say. I got bones to break and bills to pay. Short cut on the coke, but headed home, I take the longer way. If she can't make me feel like I don't need another motherfucker, her ass for sale, nah, duck in the jailhouse. I don't know why my mama taught me this. In my everyday ways, don't know what brought me this. I wish I had more time. Wish my son was still five. Wish I kept playing ball. I wouldn't be wishing to shine. I'd probably never take Uber. You round a corner, I'm flying on your fake ass, face ass. <laughs> and I ain't fucking around. I might pop up in your town and take your clientele for the weekend. Sim, I probably bid every floor fight. Throwing easy middle fingers, nigga. I'm talking all night. But when I think about it, my daughter make me show my teeth, but when I drink about it, so do the wolf dying to eat. Uh, uh. Cold shit. Here we go. Yeah, In opinions, you heard me. You heard it here first, famous strange. Like that. Thank y'all for having me, man. Hey, man. You already welcome. know. Thank You're you for coming back to see us, anytime. baby. Shit, yeah. We out this thing. You dig? Uh-huh. Uh-huh.